Good morning, badasses. Coach Joe here. I wanted to talk today again about rest. Holy crap. I thought Coach Joe made everybody fast. Why does he keep talking about sitting on your ass? Um, because it keeps coming up and because it really is the most important thing. Most athletes that I coach are very motivated. And as such, as many of you probably are, you do too much. And the biggest thing that I can do as a coach is help you slow down, take those recovery days, um, and kick ass in the long run. And so I just wanted to bring up, I had a couple athletes today who, you know, two different comments on training peaks. Hey coach, I'm so sorry. I know my head's not in the right place, but I didn't sleep last night and all of this shit happened in my life and I just had to take today off. And they're apologizing to me. And I'm like, Woo! you did it right. That's awesome. So I wanted to talk very briefly about when not to follow the plan. Um, the kind of the, the big ones that I use are one, if you, so if you get five minutes into a workout or 10 minutes in, and you know, there, we all have this time you know, whether that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, where we know if the workouts, we know if we're going to feel good, right? For me, I get seven minutes into a run and I can tell you whether I should go home or whether I should keep going. Um, so if you get warmed up and you still feel like hell, don't follow the plan. Go home, take the day off. You're not going to do yourself any good. Um, if you are getting ill, so if you are uh, if you have a cold or some sort of illness above the neck, I call it the neck rule. If you're sick above the neck, you can train easily. So that's a sore throat or a headache or something like that. If you're sick below the neck, um, food poisoning, fever, uh, shit in your lungs, no training. Don't follow the plan in those cases if you're sick. Um, another is injury. Often if you have unilateral pain, so if you have one side of your body that is really sore or achy or, you know, something just doesn't quite feel right. If you have once only one side hurts, take the day off. It's probably going to do you a lot of good or cross train. Um, so don't follow the plan there. And then the other time when you don't follow the plan is when you don't fucking feel like following the plan. If you're just like, man, there is nothing that I want to do less than this workout right now, right now. That is a awesome sign that you're just beat up by all your other stuff. And forcing yourself to do that workout might make you a tiny bit faster in two weeks, but that mentality will burn you out in a couple months. I am, some people may disagree and that's not 100% true for everyone 100% of the time. But if you're watching this, you are probably fairly motivated. And if you are all of a sudden not motivated by a day because life has kicked you in the balls or in the ovaries, um, fuck, take the day off. It is, it's not worth it to, to push through that stress. And it's not, there, you, there, is, there isn't an upside. So don't always follow the plan blindly. Out.